<sighs> Ow. Oh. Well, good evening, everybody. Mr. Freddy here, and my gosh. My freaking gosh. That freaking Nintendo Direct has just made me happy. Well, and not in my pants, my in my heart. I'm so happy that they got all the big stuff we're going to talk about, you know. Well, there's like some, like a Bayonetta 3, uh, Mario Golf, uh, Metroid Dread, uh, Mario Party Superstars. Uh, but I only care about the, the stuff that I just actually, I actually felt surprised about. So, yeah. So, first things first is... Follow me. Do you see something odd in this museum? There's a sign. Look at my hand. This sign here? You know, a familiar friend is coming back in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Which, his name starts with a B and ends with a R. Can he get, can he guess it? It's freaking Brewster. Brewster's is coming back in New Horizons. Which, there's gonna be a. Da, 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 a freaking direct on a new update. A new direct for New Horizons, which is gonna be around October. Which, it's gonna air on October, so sorry. Which, which also, the update will be out by. by around the Thanksgiving month, which is November. Which. I'm just shocked and proud that they got Brewster back. Especially the Roost. Especially that familiar music. When you actually want to drink some coffee and just think about, man, are you sure that Crash will never not going to be in Smash? Well, speaking of Smash, uh, but come on, the, the, the freaking Roost update is going to be interesting. So on to the next thing. Well, this is it, guys. The final presentation about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is upon us, which airs on Tuesday, October 5th at 10 a.m., which apparently I might be not going to watch it, watch the, the this presentation around that time, since I might be, uh, I'll be, be like busy in school until like I'm on lunch break and see who could it, who could this fighter be. So I'm going to be stay blind on it around those hours until... Until I'm on lunch break. And I'm just hoping that neither Rayman, neither Crash, neither Doom Guy, or is it Doom Slayer? Because Doom Slayer is kind of a funny name. Or Master Chief be in Smash. Because everybody wants either of those guys will be in Smash. Like, come on. Can we get Crash to complete this, uh, this pillar, you know, of Nintendo, Sega, and Sony, and Microsoft? You know, the four pillars. And, oh, and also Namco, maybe that's the fifth pillar. Come on. Just crash and smash. There's he. Hope he gets this letter, or or is it Doom Slayer might get the letter. Because I don't think he has more relevancy than Crash. Well, no, 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 no. Well, Doom's like the most relevant next to Crash, so, yeah. So stay tuned for that. Just can't wait for it. Just can't wait for it. Okay, next up is, you know... I felt surprised this is actually announced, you know. Airfruit, it was leaked like hours before the Direct. But, come on. We finally got a full-on 3D Kirby game called Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Which, I just, I pretty much, I swear it might be kind of a little, a bit open-worldish, you know. Like, or open, well, open-ended is more of a, a better term, you know. Because it wasn't open-world-esque, but it's going to be like a little more open-ended. You know, since I think it might be like a more level-to-level -level type of structure, but come on. We got a mysterious unknown civilization that couldn't hint the whole Shiver Star theory is actually canon. Which, you know, doesn't mean that humans actually extinct, like, before this game. Just like the just like the Shiver Star theory, which I think, you know, I think coming that humans had to leave the planet because of some kind of some form of pollution and also... Lots of batch of new enemies and also Waddle Dees. I don't know what's the Waddle Dees purpose for this game, you know, but are they like, are they like, is it doesn't mean that DD might be been, been captured or been captured somewhere on the other side of this forgotten land? And also, we got a gorilla boss as a boss, so 
that's the first thing we knew. Um, we knew, you know. Well, sorry. <clears throat> well, a freaking gorilla. We're gonna beat up a freaking gorilla in an innocent kids game, you know. Well, I just gonna make make a joke in Zachy Tarambe, but it doesn't obviously look like edgy Donkey Kong. Yeah, I just made a joke. I just made a joke. But come on. We finally got a 3D Kirby game, you know. We've been waiting like sort of 20 years for this to be happening. But hey, Fake Star Allies and Forgotten Line are just like two counterpart, are just like two pieces of the that canceled GameCube Kirby game that was supposed to come out around holiday 2005, but scrapped because of problems with the multiplayer stuff. But yeah. So that was that. So. Oh, and also, uh. I just can't wait for a lot of more information about this. Possibly around like, possibly around the end of the of uh, the end of uh, November, and possibly even more around January, which is my birth month. Which can't wait for more information on this game sometime soon. Seriously, we we just know it's gonna be open world and it's gonna take place in a more abandoned civilization place. But hey, I'll be waiting for a Nintendo. I'll be waiting for more information on this game. And I need to play some Kirby games before this, this the new this one comes out in spring, which most likely comes out in late March or early April, which that's a possible release date for those games. The possible release dates for this game, so yeah. On to the next news. Okay. This may be pretty happy about it, but but also a little mixed. Nintendo 64 games. I finally come to the Nintendo Switch Online. Well, we already know March 64 is coming. March Kart 64 can't wait to finally get a replay this game, you know, and just probably play it like a little bit on the Wii Virtual Console, but never got to finish the rest of it on the cut on the other tracks. Star Fox 64. I'll plan to play that one alongside Star Fox One sometime later this year. When it drops in on the end of next month. Mar Tennis, mm hmm. Doctor Mario 64, yes. Yoshi Story. Oh, finally, finally, I gotta finally get to play this. That one Yoshi game I just missed out on. It really doesn't count as the Yoshi's Island uh, series, but still counts as the Yoshi game, you know. It's sort of Yoshi series. So, yeah. So, feel happy about it, but. And also, there's gonna be F Zero, F Zero 64, and Paper Mario, and Banjo Kazooie for coming to the, N the N64 Switch Online app thingy. <laughs> yeah. And also, Sin Punishment also is coming, so. Yeah, and went back. Uh, no thanks. But also, unexpectedly, we're getting Genesis games. Freaking Genesis games. So far, the the ones I'm just like interested in playing is Rice Star. You know that one Genesis game I just, that everybody talks about. You know, you know that one forgotten mascot, secondary mascot for Sega. Because you know, Sonic is their main faint, the main guy. Mean Bean Machine, uh, can't wait to, can't wait to revisit this game. You know, because I've been, I think I play it like a lot back in like Sonic Mega Collection for the GameCube. Just remember that, remember that, remember that collection. Because Sonic Origins ain't got nothing on the classic, which is Sonic Mega Collection and Sonic Gem Collection. Echo the Dolphin, <laughs> yeah, I can't wait, can't wait to play it just for laughs. You know, for myself during that. The cold, hard holiday, cold, hard winter. Sonic 2, which sadly is the only one that was coming out. Sonic freaking 2. <sighs> Why no love in Sonic 3 and Knuckles then? Why is Sonic 1 not there? Oh yeah, because Son Sega Orig because of Sonic Origins is pretty much will have those games. But Sonic 2, yeah, 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 yeah. Sonic 2 is the most beloved game, so shut the heck up. There's the... Sonic 3's Knuckles is good and all, but come on. Why you had to give more love on Sonic 2 than Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But Sonic 3 is the perfect game, but come on. I think there's like a lot of favoritism for, for Sonic 2. So, yeah. Well, um... I think on to the next one. Okay, other the other news we got are... Delta Rune Chapter Two is gonna be coming onto the Switch today, which, which is the twenty first of September. Which I thought it's gonna come out like next month. Which you know, sometimes sometimes you have to like import like another chapter to the 
another chapter to get to this game like for a month but <clears throat> coming out later that later today well i'm definitely in felt surprised about it but i you know i already finished chapter chapter one on Dutch room so i might plan to do chapter two sometime soon sometime later in the mo next month but also another thing the super mario brothers movie the the new one by elimination you know maybe you know the the guys who made the Super me series and sing and cigarette with pets it's official because it's coming out on christmas 2022 god damn that's a year long my gosh we had to wait like a year long for the, this big budget animated Mario movie to finally coming out. Gosh damn it! I'll be like uh, in my twenty. I'll be twenty one years old, just like eleven months before the Mario movie comes out. Which the casting there's gonna be a lot of interesting cast. You know, like there's Chris Pratt, uh, Annie Taylor Joy, uh, Charlie Day, let's see Seth Rogen, Jack Black, uh, Keegan Michael Key. Let's see what's the other guy. Um, I just. Hang on a bit. Well, there's Anya, uh, Anya Taylor Joy. Yeah, it's Peach. Yeah, I already know. Chris Pratt's Mario, uh, Charlie Day, Luigi, Jack Black, Bowser, Seth Rogen, Donkey Kong. I'm expect. I thought this is gonna be freaking The Rock or freaking John Cena, Donkey Kong. But Seth Rogen. Um, I think he might can take an interesting turn on that character. And also Kevin Michael Richardson as Kamek. Um. I just I was really he's gonna be like like a wisecrack uh old guy, but having Kevin Michael Richardson that's gonna take a next level. Well, I would just, now I'm gonna expect him to hear him to hear him as freaking Crunch from uh Crash Bandicoot from the Rapha Cortex and such, and also uh the villain from Leon Stitch. Yeah, that's I, I just gotta I gotta remind that that voice whenever I see Kamek. Fred Armisen as Cranky, yeah, yeah. I think it, Cranky and DK is gonna make cameos in the movie. Which could that lead to the Donkey Kong Country movie we've been waiting for? You know, that has like a bigger budget than the the, the, the cartoon from nineteen ninety six. So yeah, and also Sebastian Maniscalco as Spike. You know, the the guy from Wrecking Crew. Yeah, well, that was like a pretty unexpected casting, you know. But hey, uh. I, well, Chris Pratt and Charlie Day as as dynamic uh, duo of Mario and Luigi seems kind of unexpected. But hey, Charles Martin will make cameos in the movie as like possibly different as different creatures in the film, like Goombas, Koopas, Wigglers, uh, Bullet Bill, <laughs> Bob Bombs. <laughs> well, um, we just had to wait until Christmas of of next year. Because I dub it might be way better than the 1993 Mario movie, you know. Does anyone remember that? Yeah, me. Yeah, me neither. The movie's still still kind of is cheesy and all, but it's still kind of a, a over a pretty a guilty pleasure, you know. Because we perhaps treat it too harshly, you know. But hey, at least we got something good. But now for the last big news. I told you this is big news, the the one last surprise, you know. Well, insert that Persona Five reference, but hey. So unexpectedly, we got Splatoon Three news, and the biggest one we have is the single player mode, which is called Return of the Mammalians, which in my head has something involved with like mammals like r rising up again and possibly causing havoc in this a mysterious new land for the the hero mode. You know, we're gonna play as this mysterious inkling, you know, that I call it the, the Splatoon 3 protagonist. Well, I think the possibility the nickname will be neither Agent 7 or Agent 10 because Agent 9 is already taken because there's a freaking character from Splatoon 3 named Agent 9! Like, come on, people! Are you sure you're gonna name him Agent 9? Because you didn't. Because there's gonna be a lot of confusion of which is Agent 9. Neither her or the monkey. So we're gonna, gonna call her Agent 7 or. You know. It just felt surprising that. This is this is a character that's gonna be used for promo arts, which is coming the nickname as Agent Seven because that's my possible theory about it. Also, we got some a lot of old friends, you know. We got Callie, Marie, which I felt shocked that they're freaking back for this one. So yeah, Agent Three is coming back as like 
the new king or the new leader of the the Squid Beak Platoon uh, organization, and also DJ Tavia is back. So, are you sure he might become like a like a secondary antagonist? Since you know we got to get another baddie, you know who is gonna be like a is it gonna be like a bear creature, some kind of some form of a bear, not like Grizzle, you know the guy who's running the summon run for. All the inklings and octolings to do all the crazy dirty work, and also we got new specials and we got the the roller crab special, which is really confirmed, and also superhero special. You know where you actually fully colored on your own ink and you just wall climbing, wall wall jumping. Felt shocking, you know. But hey, I'm just uh, so high for what to expect for the return of the mammalians mammalians <laughs> it's kind of hard to say that word you know mammal mammalians mammalians like it sounds so off you know let's just call it the hero hero mode part three or hero mode part three electric mammalians <laughs> okay sorry i'm sorry so yeah oh yes yeah, so i forgot and also the, the area that the the mammalians return of mammalians uh, will take place in is called uh some will be like an arctic type of place you know and which just has furry octolings no furry furry octarians oh boy someone's killed me because i i don't want to think about the furries to go crazy over furry at furry freaking octo octarians what's next we're gonna get furry octoling octolings oh wait oh wait i think they, they might get to reveal it sometime Around next year, when there's gonna be more Splatoon three news for this, since so far we only have this for for now, you know, like you know, I can't show you like footage of it because I might get copyrighted, but you know, I was wondering if, if the, the little buddy Salmon might have some purpose for the single player story of Return of the Mammalians. So yeah, well that was a wrap, guys. Uh, move away. Oh man, why is Nintendo made me happy over a freaking direct? You know, we got a new 3D Kirby game, more stuff about Splatoon 3, and a release date on when the final fighter is going to be, be announced for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which comes out on the same day as Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, which I think it might cost cheaper than Ultimate, which, you know, $20 cheaper, I guess. So, yeah. No, so... The Mario movie cast reveal, and the other fans I just don't care. Like, you know, Banner Three is already announced. Uh, Metroid Dread, see Mario Party Superstars, and many others. But I'm more looking forward to Kirby in the Forgotten Land and Splatoon Three. Oh, and also Touching in Chapter Two is, you know, even for everybody's and their grandmothers already know about it. So yeah, that was about it. That was a freaking great day for Nintendo fans for a big direct that was end us with Splatoon 3 and also Banner 3. You can double the threes, you know? Oh, bad joke. Bad joke. Well, um, yeah, guys. Hope you have a very fantastic day and see you for more videos. Oh, bye bye. Well, um, I just hope my. One of my subscribers, uh, Alyssa OC, so I'm not gonna give a shout out to Alyssa OC if she actually just watched a direct and, and which games she's actually more she's actually excited about. Well, for me, it's freaking Splatoon 3 and Kirby in the Forgotten Lands. Oh, and also the Mario movie release date.